Welcome once again to Live with Justin. Thank you so much for joining in and thank you for watching with us at this live stream on our Facebook page, ZimDI TV. On this program, we invite people from various backgrounds discussing various issues. And uh, my yeah. guest this time is Tariro Makanga, who is a presenter. She presents a very fabulous television program on our national broadcaster. And the program is known as Positive Talk, talking about how to uh, positively live with HIV how to manage issues to do with drug abuse, teenage pregnancies, but she focuses mainly on uh, uh, sexual and reproductive health of uh, youths. Uh, we're also going to talk a little later on with a youth advocate. Her name is Clarissa Regere. But uh, for now, it's a pleasure having you, my <coughs> sister Tariro. Welcome to live. Thank you so much for having me and having Clarissa on the program. Indeed, and uh, welcome uh, Clarissa. Okay, so Kuneva uh, Kuona, these are the two ladies that we have in the studio, and we are going to be talking about uh, particularly my issues to do with my youth parties. But before we dig deeper into that, because uh, apparently Clarissa is the, like a victim, so to speak, of the bad things that happens uh, that happen when people go out for my youth parties. Uh, starting with you, um, my dear sister Tariro, your work has taken you across the length and breadth of Zimbabwe, and you work with my youths in various aspects rights. Can you tell us could you, what, what, what exactly do you do when you go out there to work with my youth? Um, I would say when I'm looking at myself as an individual, I'm quite passionate about young people. I'm popularly known as a antitari, mm -hmm. uh, and my youth where, okay. wherever I go. Okay. Um, issues <clears throat> that I'm dealing with, we are looking at, um, I think as an organization, as Safed, we look at um, sexual and reproductive health rights mm -hmm. of young people. Mm -hmm. And here, what exactly are we talking about? We are saying a young person needs to have uh, their sexual and reproductive health rights mm -hmm. respected. Mm -hmm. But what we are saying to them is, yes, you might have those rights but they do come with responsibility mm -hmm. and as a result when we are looking at all those issues um, issues that we then encounter talking to them you look at issues of um, gender uh, based violence okay you're looking at issues of sexual abuse mm -hmm. that young people encounter mm -hmm. you're also looking at even adolescents who are living with hiv mm -hmm. adolescents born with hiv mm -hmm. you're also looking <coughs> at issues of peer pressure teen pregnancies okay. uh, okay. drug and alcohol abuse mm -hmm. all those issues mm -hmm. so we are holistically looking at all those issues okay. that affect young people as they get into adulthood. Mm -hmm. So that's where we come in and that's where my auntie role then comes <laughs> in because uh, they do feel free to share with me some okay. of the issues that they are okay. not even free to talk to their parents about. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you, 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 you interact with my youth from... Uh, the urban side and the rural side and yes. but tell us what exactly is taking place there one access to information area as uh, their counterparts do varuma urban centers I would say when you are comparing Vanavarukumusha and those Varukuma urban centers, access to information is mm -hmm. but uh, the difference would then come in where we are saying what sort of information okay. do they have. Okay. When you are looking at uh, adolescents in the urban areas, mm -hmm. because we have social media, we've mm -hmm. got television mm -hmm. which is readily available, mm -hmm. um, adolescents in urban areas tend to be ex exposed to a lot of information that sometimes put them at risk. Okay. And then when I look oh, at it's actually information putting them at risk and ra yes. rather than yeah. safeguarding their, yeah. their livelihoods. Okay. And because they also want to experiment a lot mm -hmm. compared even, I, I don't want to then say compared, but I'm saying what they are exposed to. Marikumu mm -hmm. um half the time, uh, oh. bundles, they're expensive. Okay. So half okay. the time they, they, they don't get to, to go on Facebook regularly. Yeah, okay. Even when okay. you're looking at the amount of time that they <coughs> do go on television, mm -hmm. it's mainly to watch maybe news, some programs, mm -hmm. because uh, they are using solar. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, okay. as a result, yeah. mm -hmm. so you find that young people they get exposed to information. When we go there, we do dialogues with them, mm -hmm. then we are sharing that information mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. them. Um, when it comes to useful information that they need to use, uh, where we are talking even about positive peer pressure when okay. uh, with adolescents, mm -hmm. then both of them they are exposed to the information. When we go, we are interacting with them as well. Mm -hmm. Other also uh, civil society organizations going to interact with them. Okay. Then both okay. groups would then be exposed to that type of information. So in your interactions, in my experience is in you. What, what worst case scenarios have you come across? Wow. Um, I would say about a month ago mm -hmm. when I went to Mabuku mm -hmm. and I was talking to young people mm -hmm. uh, on issues of drug and alcohol abuse, okay. I would say Justin, I was, um, as a mother, I was shocked. 
I almost dropped tears for what my presenter wrote. Okay. Because the things that adolescents are talking about, a lot of them are talking about, yes, we don't have jobs. And because we don't have jobs, uh, for me to survive in Jita Kia Kia that is required for me to earn a dollar per day, I need to be intox intoxicated. And we are, so, okay. Yes. And we have Nganam Dika Jukuta Rakuti, Trukuno Bama Piri Sevan Mano Penga, you know, Trukunwa Bronco. And we are asking them, what what percentage of alcohol is in there? And you have somebody proudly telling you, I think it's 1,000 percent. And you're asking wow, them, wow, are man. you even aware of the consequences that are happening to your own health as a young person? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're saying, and this was even live on TV, I'm sure. People I think I, I watched a clip, yes. you posted something also exactly. on your Facebook page. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and then last week, I went almost the same direction again. Mm -hmm. We are meeting adolescents, 12 years, running a brothel within their home. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole community is saying, we can't even deal with them. We've tried to assist these young girls, but because of alcohol abuse, Zaba needs yet. So, the community because and sometimes we don't We had one grandmother that I had to interview, and she wanted her face to be to be covered, and we're saying, why go? go? Okay. It's like, msikongu no cha. No peace, wow, wow, and we wow, tried wow. to interview That's those sad. kids. They <laughs> ran away from us. It took us until about um, midnight to then go and, and, and meet them. And you made them such sweet young girls. Normal, then, normal human normal, beings. Normal, normal human beings. Okay. About what the activities that are happening, you go into the house, you know, you would cry. Yeah, yeah. So I would say those were my worst. Mm -hmm. um, really, mm -hmm. the last two months have been... I, I, understand, I don't want to I continue <laughs> I, under, yeah. I understand. And uh, those of you who are on this program we want to appreciate you uh, for joining in. Uh, remember, you're watching Zim DI TV, and this is live with Justin. My guest is Tariro Makanga. You, you, we have seen her uh, on television. Uh, she does work with my youth. And I don't know, maybe you are watching and you know a youth who is affected, who is maybe going through my stages, and you'd want uh, that particular person, whether it's a guy. Is she's a is a guy or is she's a lady and you want them to get help please do get in touch with us do get in touch also with Tariro so that will also help help save a life please do get in touch with us tell us what is happening my youth drug abuse these teenage pregnancies varku ranama shibins and things like that what exactly is happening now i want to ask you Tariro when you look at these issues and you actually interview Van Warguita practice and also those who are affected by how mm. things that are done. Is it that society has sort of forgotten Vana, these adolescents? Are they like a forgotten lot in, in Zimbabwe? I wouldn't say um, adolescents are a forgotten lot, but I'm also looking at what's happening now where everybody, when we wake up 4 a.m., 3 a.m., everybody's looking at self-sustenance and as a result saying i'm going to be looking for the next dollar to feed my family and as a result when you're looking at us as, as, as communities how much time are we spending uh with our kids looking after them even sitting down and talking about um you know everything to do with comprehensive sexuality education you know just when you're looking at our communities mm. now, that's a, that has become a thing of the past. Okay. And as a result, you find Ngana, who's their next person that is going to be advising them. Ngana is going to be going to group prepare Facebook. Ngana is being advised by peers on a WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. So as a result, you find that because there is that peer advice that's coming, uh, half the time it's not advice that would um, help them to to lead exemplary lives i'm glad we actually have clarissa here because mm -hmm. uh, she's going to be telling us in terms of what exactly happens with them seven hour dick mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. because uh, mm -hmm. even you hear now that are happening in, in in the communities these are supposed to be um events where young people are supposed to be sharing information enjoying themselves dancing to music but if you hear the amount of uh, sex that happens there the amount of drug abuse that happens there um even after the event you hear people saying if you see the amount of condoms that you would see there and it's just adolescents who are there so it becomes really worrying to them mm -hmm. say where are we going as a country where are we going as a nation mm -hmm, because mm -hmm, these mm -hmm. are the leaders uh, of, of tomorrow, tomorrow yeah, yes yeah, yeah, and when yeah, you talk to yeah. them they are saying we are the leaders of today so and we would want to see that leadership really happening in in their day-to-day -day lives okay i want what's to happen, what's happening is worrying it is it is 
is, it, it is worrying indeed. I want to introduce uh, Clarissa. Clarissa Regide, um, you are a youth advocate, but I want to believe that you, you, you got into advocacy after having gone through some kind of experiences. We are discussing what happens with my youth. Now, there's this, this phenomenon in my youth parties that is happening. Tell us about it. Where is all this coming from? Uh, thank you, Justin. I wouldn't say I will tell you where it's coming from. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I, I can tell you that there are two different categories. There are young people who indulge in drug abuse willingly, and there are young people who get exposed to those other people who, okay. who know what they're, who know doing, what they're right? doing. Okay. Yes. So we, we need to talk about drug abuse in that context because we are mostly assuming that there are people who are out there who just want to have fun and they're doing this willingly. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. there are also young people who are just going to be amongst their peers mm -hmm. and they are going to be exposed to mm -hmm. drug abuse. Mm -hmm. So um, my, experience, yes. my experience has been... Um, I went to, another, uh, to a party a few years ago when I was still in university. Mm -hmm. And it was a normal birthday party. Okay. But like I'm saying, there will be people who know what they're what? doing. We have an agenda. Yes, they okay. know what they're doing. And who am I to even say they are wrong? But okay. in their own right, they are saying they are right, right? But you are just a person who are at that party. Mm -hmm. So I was at that party, <laughs> and normally you are told don't drink, right? You're told don't smoke. Those are clear signals, right? Mm -hmm. But drug abuse has... Signals. You're saying they're clear signals. Are yes, you when saying when you're told by your the, parents that when okay. you go to a party, yeah, don't drink, yeah, don't, yeah, don't yeah. smoke. Okay. Right? Those mm -hmm. are clear uh, yes. things that you look out for. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, there are cakes, there are muffins. Mm -hmm. the, drugs are not the way our parents used so, to see them. Clarissa, you... They are now in the form of sweets, even. You okay, know? you, you went to a party. Yes. Let, let's, let's get this straight. You went yes. to a party, you were invited to a birthday yes. party. Because you did not drink. Yes. You did not smoke. You did not, yes. But you ate was, a muffin. Yes, that's what happened. So they called them... Hash brown. Some call them hash brownies. Some some call. They have different names. Ganja cake. Yes. Mm. Ganja have, cake. Yes. yes. And people make them in different ways. Mm. So this is viewers, what I'm do you do you know any of this? Do you know any of this that is called a ganja cake or whatever? Please give us feedback. Uh, tell us what what is happening. If you know any of this, please let us know. You can continue. Yes. So you know well, these people will know what they are doing. They usually just take a small piece. Yeah, you are. You think it's part of the birthday cake. It's part of the muffin birthday cake. You take a it's full been one. It's Yes, you take a full one, right? And by the time, uh, thank God, this was a braai, so it was ending at around six, right? Okay. So by the time I got home, then that's when I started to feel that there's something wrong with me, right? Okay. Okay. And uh, the good part is I went home. Okay. But for yeah. others who yeah. were at that yeah. party, yeah. maybe they didn't go home, right? Wow. And Said who knows what, what happened, happened. Yeah. Them, right? Yeah. But yeah. I lived probably to tell this story so that anyone who has been exposed to this knows that it is not their fault that's the first thing is because one things have changed you know we're looking for like i always tell my friends that you know we're looking at things in the old way we think parties are in the form of uh, nowadays they're just house parties on a wednesday <laughs> oh yeah yeah okay okay and, and things happen on a wednesday and okay how about these these this parties really, clarissa i really Using template, you are imagining what Saturday into Sunday. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, you are saying parents should be they should be vigilant they should, yes, yes. and they should ask, parents, "Where are you going?" Even Urukubaza, you know, I I, okay. I know a lot of people where when we are at work, we don't know what's happening within our homes wow. because these yeah. kids have now yeah. become so cunning yeah. where they will tell it, tell each other that from ten to twelve we are meeting at my house. And they my parents are not there. My parents are yeah. not there. They all bring their drinks and all. So things happen. And before we get home, they clear oh, everything. <laughs> yeah, so okay. We are even having kids who are losing their lives. That's, all that's because very of, true. Yeah, that's all very because true. of this. And I remember what Clarissa is saying, mm. that we are using the old templates yeah, as parents. So it's, so, it's so true. <laughs> what, 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 what do you advise parents to do? What, what, what would you yeah. want parents to yeah. do? Yeah. Well, young people are dynamic. Mm -hmm. Look at us today. We're doing uh, a live show, right? Mm -hmm. Years back, we couldn't do this. So yeah. this is similar to young people's lives. It is now. It has changed. And what we would, as you know, parents can do only as much. You can mm -hmm. instill values in your child. 
because those same values are the ones that saved me that day because i said i'm going home at six my okay. mom wants me yeah, home at yeah, six yeah, you know yeah, yeah. so it's, it's those values that will protect your child but above all you know you can only do as much mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. it will be up to your child mm-hmm. at the end of the day to mm-hmm. make the right decision to hang mm-hmm. around the right people mm-hmm. and for me it was a mixed party it was a joint party so it was another person who was not my friend do you get mm-hmm. it so you can't control anything when you're out there wow. so you know wow. you need to okay. be careful okay. and no matter who you are you know look you at can me. be a victim I, yes, look at yeah me. i'm just I trying to believe i'm still trying, trying to believe that it happened to you i shared my story so many mm-hmm. women yeah. who are in good positions mm-hmm. lawyers you name uh, accountants mm-hmm. people who are already older than me yeah. said hi you know i remember that i'm doing too much my pity so i was going to have a motor because i'm going to go i'm going crazy you know people have hands i know back mozambique they're being shipped from mozambique they are cheap you know mm-hmm. so the story started coming out but because in mean i was so disappointed mm-hmm. why me mm-hmm. at that party okay so that's why when, 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 you decided, when you decided when you decided to go home at six mm-hmm. because you were supposed to be at home yes. at six which is also good just to let your kids know what time you want them home and to stress all the time they need to know by six i should be at home mm. so when you went to home na six is it because punish just you know it's it's, it's you it's me and it's you say just th- me. this is the life i live yes. you know and, and i need I was, to be mind you, i was still in university mm. so at that time i did not you know i didn't have the independence that i have now. yeah yeah so Oh, yes it was that but I, again i say it was the values mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. at the party i felt nothing because it was you know what they say about drugs if you expose to light that's when they become active mm, okay, so it okay. was a bright so normally it's sun down and you go much home, light so, nothing, anyway, so you were still nothing okay nothing happened right? and <laughs> right. you know so but, but yeah. the minute i got home i started to feel and then my mom started to notice something was different and she and then immediately because i'm who i am mm-hmm. i was paranoid i'm like take me to the hospital because i don't know what's going on okay. and okay. that's when when we got to the hospital the, the doctor was they actually said you know you're not the first one there are actually three more people that that came before you you know that and this, same day yes they are real caring this is inst- uh, this these things are real caring and he was saying for some for, for other people the palpitations are too strong and you can die you know wow, wow. Yes, that's, that's you so can actually okay die. <laughs> okay tariro mm-hmm. this is scary It is. you know because you really never know what will happen to your child yes. and and you you can't uh, look at their friend and you say this kind of a friend is going to expose yeah. my child to drugs or something mm-hmm. like that how can parents protect their children i think with um with children open communication mm-hmm. that's the most important thing that's where we need to start that's from. where it starts yes. that's very true we do not need to be feared by our children mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know you need your child to be open with you mm-hmm. and half the time because of the lifestyle that we are now leading you know mm-hmm. i would get home i'm already working i'm already on social media my child is in her own bedroom you don't even know what's happening mm-hmm. you know we just need to go back where we are even saying we get to a situation where we are saying if supper is at seven everybody's on the Should table on the ta- yes 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 no yes, one yes, nothing. yes that's true. have dialogue that's true. we need to start creating the, the, those those relationships with our children it's very important this situation where we are saying okay she's in the bedroom you know she's doing this you know you don't and know you don't even happening. know what is happening you don't really know what is happening yeah, you hear people yeah. saying Mm-hmm. you know all those things are happening and we don't know yeah, as parents yeah, yeah, so yeah. we need to be opening those drawers we need to be seeing what's happening but at the same time they, they need to be communication mm-hmm. because sometimes also when you invade their privacy they can be oh they, yes yeah, yes they, yeah, they will begin to wall. create a wall exactly. yeah yeah so yeah, there's yeah. need for that dialogue mm-hmm. for them to be understanding where are you coming from and mm-hmm. where are they coming from mm-hmm. you reach um, a, a mutual ground mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. yeah because if we don't have that uh, because anata eta kusisina you know Yeah. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I'm the tete to my daughter. Mm-hmm. I need to ensure that at least I put in those measures to protect and them. Yes, schools, communities can do what they can, but everything for me has to start from the home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk again about these parties. I know some of you are actually planning to go and uh, attend one, but you know, <laughs> because out of this discussion, I believe you need to to make a decision. 
and sometimes the decision has to border around who are you associating with yeah, who, yes, who exactly mm. is your friend mm. and uh, w- what kind of, of of life are you living nevanu mm. unoti they are your friends murukuita some uh, times ndezo kuti vanhu they don't even know uh, the extent of the damage that yeah. they are actually getting themselves in mm. just because of zvinhu zvavanoita go out there to attend mm. when you attend mama party za murukutaura vana clarissa are, are these parties even legal at all <laughs> are they ordinary parties yes. yeah. yeah i think mm. we, like i said earlier we are thinking these are wild parties it can be a very normal party at a very a safe location at mm. rose house and Taro's not there okay you know? okay so it's no longer about you guys are expecting people to end up later and did it yeah like, you know that, that's that and the last time i think it was a pool party yes. where we had one yes. yes. drown and things like that yeah yeah. Yes. yeah yeah i'm not saying eliminate those but i'm saying you have to look at things in a different way even vana vengi vaya vane ma 8 a's vaya ndithi vano kona cha party yavo yakarongi kafani asi mune cake ra uya ndithi ima am and it is in that cake in that cake that's where the drugs are so it's not necessarily but is in the need fishing is a wild party is in the need clarissa 25 i think it was a 21st is is in there a need then kuti where we have even a sober party as long as we know it is by youth for for the youth perhaps we invite the police just to have the presence the police, police. Then, the cake will be eaten <laughs> there in their <laughs> presence no and the police can be offered a cake oh yeah say my police are this cake <laughs> Okay. Outside and then inside. The and I, I'm really wa- uh, really worried about these things because age. But what I'm yeah. worried uh, mostly is do not label people. Don't Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we know, don't want to. When you see a doctor, mm. they are a clean doctor. Yes. Mm. Don't, don't think when you see one when you are past a stage, not ha no gonna age. Are are perfect. No. It's got nothing to do with that. It's a habit. People have these new habits. T- tell us where where are these coming from? Uh, you 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 mentioned divane you mentioned divane ma issues maybe those who want to get away from the stress ye kushaya mm. mabasa and things like that mm. but what happens to youths in your class mm-hmm. who have everything but they are you know no, not necessarily <laughs> okay <laughs> but i'm talking about those who are at least affluent yeah. but then they they still engage in these things is it like there's a loss of morality because amongst our youth experimentation well, yeah yes. experimentation the young people that i was talking to last week were talking about this is actually done in japan and that was in safara <laughs> in safara yeah. yes they were saying what we do here you know in japan there is this practice you meet at this time and then you do this you do this so because young people are now exposed to anything and everything that happens mm-hmm. so we we have events that are coming into zimbabwe that are happening in other countries and i think with young people that's exactly what's happening mm-hmm. but we also have adults because that's one thing that we need to be clear about about these muffins these cakes mm-hmm. what these young people are saying is the, the motive behind all this for for a lot of adults is to hook young people you know so it's adults were actually bringing in this cake is, is that the case yes and then when when some uh, when a child eats that cake the next day they need still need that same cake next day and that's how they get hooked to them and now they become a market yeah, the same in, way in other words this this okay mm. this yeah. these cakes because they are laced with some drugs yes. in them and they we, actually we become actually addictive had, yeah we heard of a woman from Zaresekwa who was actually arrested who was baking these muffins and selling them to school kids so she started what is going clandestinely to parties so there are also adults who are actually involved in this this is so evil yeah. this is so evil Very. what is going into our people what is happening and you know what this starts a cycle like i was talking earlier before we started yeah. this program that it becomes an addiction i have young people who are in all level right they now steal phones in their in their houses because mm-hmm. it's not yeah. cheap ca- <coughs> you're getting mm-hmm. a dollar or yeah, five rand yeah, to yeah. go to school mm-hmm. you know you don't have money to buy these big cakes they yeah. probably cost about 40 dollars you know that so now they start stealing phones in the home to buy them you know and now they are addicted and when they are addicted now they have a business yeah. you get it it's now a business running and mm-hmm. you I, i'm sure you have seen many documentaries where people were addicted still there's yeah. a close link between yeah. stealing and addiction and that's very true that's true you can never have enough satisfied. money mm-hmm. to sustain that lifestyle exactly. mm-hmm. you get mm-hmm. it so mm-hmm. it's my appeal that is what i'm sorry saying you know there are other adults as well who are involved 
And then there are young people who are influencing other young people. But what I think is important is to make young people vigilant. Mm-hmm. You have to be away. You have to be away because okay. this is happening. Mm-hmm. I'm going to this party. What time am I going to go home? So just on Twitter and ABCs of you know three steps. How to how to yes, attend the party? Yes, when you go to the party, <laughs> exactly. be careful okay. of these things mm-hmm. because. Mm-hmm. We want to protect at the end mm-hmm. of the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, no one deserves to be drugged. Mm-hmm. Yes, but even if they are addicts and they are victims mm-hmm. at the end mm-hmm. of the day. So mm-hmm. we need to start programming around that. And mm-hmm. I was t- telling Antitari, no one is building a rehabilitation center. So even if you are addicted, and addicted, they... okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's have support systems. Because we need to first get to make sure we My parents are going to be they don't want to be so negative. It's not, uh, you, know, you know what, Clarissa? It's, it's not that sometimes they are protecting because of us. It's because parents don't want to be identified as if they are now at this corner of society. If I hear kuti my zvangu fanya kuti yeah mwana akanzi items kanzwa aro hapa next door ndokwanza kuti akanda protect a mwana face then maybe ndozo investigate out anga mburoverwa chi but that's the thing but i believe also as parents we need now to be as open to even to being criticized nevamwe yes. for doing what is right for our children mm-hmm. and to receive mm-hmm. advice mm-hmm. and also to be able to know kuti vana are no longer the children that we yeah. used to, to to know mm-hmm. okay we want to appreciate those of you who are joining in and who are watching live uh, this broadcast uh, i have uh, Tariro and uh, Clarissa Tariro is also working with youths in many areas akasiana siana in particular issue ya tikutaura ye drug abuse and uh, Clarissa is an advocate a youth advocate she was a victim of uh, that uh, lacing you know it was drugs through a cake that she took uh, when she attended a birthday party now loveness at zirambi says mm zinorwaza yeah zinorwaza and again baba dube baba dube was with us earlier he's saying fellington tapinda bapinda baba dube thank you so much uh taina rufur wazo grateful says hey boss tariro <laughs> There's Ndini Tariwacho who says so said. I believe she's also listening to your mm-hmm. stories and things like that. Mimbai Messi Chivanga. I see you. I see you, Tariro and Clarissa. You go, girls. Okay. Shepard Jambaya. Fine, my bra. Uh, Lineka Yonkao Muikisa. My guru, I see you. Uh, Pasmonya Mashinga Makombe says, Fe. Uh, Loveness Zirambi says, Mukeki Ere. Yo. Okay. So this is the, the, the reality and the facts that one don't believe good things are happening mm-hmm. in these malls. It's, it's as if you know the devil is now in the detail yeah. mm-hmm. you know when, exactly. when you look at the drink and you ignore it and say ah no no yeah. no you know and yet you, know, and yet, mm-hmm. you see common, mm-hmm. and i even had an incident and i can't put it it was a bachelor's party saka gruma anga isa to mbuzo ndo zvino itwe zvano no unza make kuma bachelor's party koko and he was dragged again you oh know oh my goodness why why no. would you drag a groom what for Shrooms, guys, they, that's what's happening that's now thing. Thing. Mm-hmm. Thing. you know you get high on your before the night before your wedding you know so here he was actually also traumatized but mm-hmm. again there's that stigma yeah. 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 You, 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 you cannot go out you, there you and, and say this is what happened you can't take your alcohol mm-hmm. you can't have that mm-hmm. so even when makuru beware you know mm-hmm. you know but you but are why not into that. This mm-hmm. thing. And, you, okay. and they don't even have a dosage. If I'm saying, wow. <laughs> and one Ten. worrying thing, one mm. worrying thing that we are noticing when you are looking at these parties, what then happens? Let's look at what happens after yeah, the yeah, drugging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to go to, after to, to, to. the drugging. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. where my my major yeah, worry yeah, is yeah. because a lot of young girls. There's group sex that happens yes. there, unprotected sex that tariro, happens tariro. there. Tariro, tariro. Vaskana, but these these girls who are abused, as you are saying. Is it good that they don't know what happens by my parties? Do they go there unknowingly or they are just saying we are going to have fun? Some some are going know. saying good. There are some are not just about it. This is what happens. And they... They, no, they they will in you. in the habit of actually inviting okay okay to come and join mm-hmm. but for that those who would have gone like Jacqueline to Clarissa mm-hmm. if she had not gone home and that had com- continued who what knows would have what happened, happened to her 2 hours later 
So oh, some no. girls are actually abused. You go home, you are not you are not even free to then tell your parents this is what I'm suspecting. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. because there is all all that that has happened, Trauma. you know, mm-hmm. new HIV infections, yeah, there's the potential yeah, yeah, to happen yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. STIs, mm-hmm. there's a high degree mm-hmm. for that happening a lot of there. It, yes, yes. yes. So yes. you are seeing that there are ripple effects that are there that are associated with these parties that are happening with this drug abuse that we are we are talking about so half the time sometimes we might look at these issues and say ah okay they're happening and then so what but this is something that should be so worrying for us and, and it needs are, to be stopped it, 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 needs it to be has stopped. to be stopped yeah it has to yeah be stopped. yeah okay we want to appreciate uh we have uh my nathan my nathan says uh, space cakes are becoming very common especially teenage mm. parties mm. and uh tembi uh dark and lovely says watching from the u.s thank you so much wow. tembi uh you have joined from the united states uh we also have b katio who has joined in but uh you know this my nathan is saying here is uh these cakes are becoming very common especially teenage parties so we have people who are deliberately Yes. deliberately mm-hmm. going out there mm-hmm. to 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 propagate this evil it's at a good parties. market it's a good market once they are hooked you know because there's no way that someone will try and hook me you know once they hook my daughter she will steal money from you mm-hmm. she will try and find other oh, yes. means of oh, getting yes. money mm-hmm. to ensure that the, she continues satisfying that appetite that she has mm-hmm. so young people teenagers they are the they are the market mm-hmm. and that's why they're being targeted mm-hmm. now let's also look a, a little further what, what what else what 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 is it that we should fear it it, it will happen kana mwana akaenda you are saying kuti yes there is this uh, my issues kuti uh, vaitwa sexual abused uh, raped in some cases and things like that but what else can happen pa ma parties well i think another thing is Chunotanga, kuti, anti, okay, we can never run away from the sexual abuse. Mm. <laughs> it's the first point of call. Mm. Mm. Because people think you like it. And already mm. scana, I don't see. Ani gashitino but I would yes. Mm. Mm. So now I under the influence. Ano mm. gona ku chadza ku understand kwa niwangwe wake. Mm. Machikuwa tisha. Ano ku shifari na shuri nshichiti kandite. Mm. Then uno gona utobi kwa che kudonzi strip kwa jinu. Mm. Embe zese zote ya ndanjiti. Mwanaka na ane mocha. Ano gona ita accident. Because in it, if I was driving on that day, Kwangoro and Elaine so Shadotanga did my computation and yeah, Shadotanga yeah, yeah. And the second thing is when we are now, now, I believe what is a medical issue. Mm. Now I remember that I thought I need what I need mm. something to. While she was still at the venue. No, as in that when you got home. Okay. So you might be around young people. Young people, do you know what they, what they said when I told them? But mm. this is what happened to me. Mm. I got sick up one. Because maybe they knew. Oh, okay, okay. Three, she can see. Ah, it was not going to work. One, you, it was going to wear off. They were going to see a time was going to tell. Imagine. Okay. So are this okay okay Clarissa let me ask Vanu. Clarissa, Vanu Vakati, it was going to wear away. Are they your friends? Were they, they part? Were they were part of the. Because then I okay. was in a drama queen. And I was going to go to the hospital. And I was going to go to the party. And did it. So they were worried. Being always a guest, I was going to go to the Because, like I said, the person I got a joint partner, Papa Jack, and the other one was not my friend. My friend was a guy, girl. She was a girl. Okay. And of which wow. I don't understand why she wanted girls to get drugged. Mm. You get it? No, no, no. I think yeah. the connection is there. Yeah. And yeah. 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 I know, yeah, she was saying, good in the kids. Patiash. Patiash. Wow. When they are wild. Yeah. Terrible. 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 Okay. So, yeah. exactly. I, I, before you give Taro, what mm. I wanted to say is the first thing is, can I mm. she tell her and she tell her that in open environment? Really? Mm. Because I couldn't, I remember others even called me, Taro, you radio station, but mm. she can say, hey, you know what, I think you're just trying to get popular. You can't you know? get popular with death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't. You can. <laughs> <laughs> they think you're just trying to get popular. Yeah, you know, it wasn't that bad. You know, you're exaggerating. And that. You know what, I remember the heartbeat. It was so fast. And I did not understand what was going on. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you can't tell me what I'm making. I'm over okay. exaggerating. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, we want to thank you for that. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, you were asking what's the worst what's that, the worst can, that happen? can happen? Yeah. Sadly, it's death. Mm-hmm. And we have recorded deaths that have happened to adolescents due to drug and alcohol abuse. Mm-hmm. Some have been involved in accidents, some mm-hmm. due to intoxication, where mm-hmm. those ma- ma- ma illicit brews that mm-hmm. are said to be coming from mm-hmm. Mozambique, from mm-hmm. wherever, mm-hmm. overdose, mm-hmm. liver fails to function, and mm-hmm. you know, we have vana, records of vana who have died. Mm-hmm. And that's what we need to fear 
as Zimbabweans, exactly. as parents. We are killing a generation. Yes, we are killing a generation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We also want to appreciate um, Tembi G. Dakin Lovely. Again, you are coming in with a comment. You are saying, as parents and adults, we should continue to educate. I think that talks about issue yeah. communication, mm -hmm. open communication. Mm -hmm. We can't stop them going to these parties, but teach them to be vigilant and protect themselves all the times. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, you know, I'm, my, my worry is yeah. yeah. But now, can you convince them, Guti? Can I wind up party? Uno no die, uno no die, uno die. Where does it all start? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Eli, I, I, I don't know whether we need to, to even sit nevana Because, mm -hmm. Justin, you know, if you talk, even because I talk to, to young kids, mm -hmm. and they, they confide in terms of what happens, mm -hmm. Clarissa Ganachida, she can confirm. Mm -hmm. You know, Vana will tell you, good when I want to go to a party, even Samai, if you tell me, good you are not supposed to go there. But I'm at school, and I would go, good, you need to go there. Mune mm -hmm. electric fence, Pamba, Mune get, Mune get. How do you go? Um, go my God, go up a dollar. Mana are going. You open no more. Come out, send you a saying, Mana bedroom. Ah, mama, I want to rest. Do you know what is the nurse? Is your manashka gumbana five? At all, we are to see you. I'm saying, why? You don't know the reason. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. So, the things that are happening are worrying. Zimbabwe. And I'm believing with this discussion that we are having, the, the whole issue here, for those of you who want to protect your children, it, it centers around my parents. Yes. I think we have a lot of work to do. And I believe Ivana, if they are going to make their choices, let yes. them make their choices. Uh, but parents should play their role. I've just thought of something else. Remember Clarissa, when we went on radio, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. had one person, one adolescent who was phoning and saying, you know, I've been to church, but no end of my, my youth camp, mm -hmm. cannot go praise and worship because fire. Even at church, yes, that's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. all night. Jingape the all night. This now born one. My goodness. So even in those environments, even when I can't even spend all night, I'm so happy. Good. Yeah, yeah. You you actually drive it there. But man, already that's where it's happening. My goodness. <laughs> I don't know how, how we need. And I think also what. The long term values will always last. I will mm -hmm. keep going back to that because and I'm not watching the dadosh guy ever six. Hanya hanya uso hanya hanya kuvaru kaku fari sisi sisi like. But can I have a girl? No, what surface does is mentoring and mentorship. And so mana kachanga ku who's what about their dreams and they see how big they are. They will see, but you know, going to this party. This is not important. It's not important. Yeah, oh yeah, yes, yeah, I can go to yeah. one, but I can't go every day. You get it? <laughs> or oh yes, ni kacha mena niki, but I'm wearing vision now. That's true. So. so yeah, things yeah. like that, with all my goals, with all my dreams, you don't know what you do. Because in I was just at that party because I party and it. Mm -hmm. But you know, I don't want to be party. Yeah, yeah, I want to. Where, where's the next high? Mm -hmm. Let's go Friday to Sunday. Mm -hmm. and it's one to you know, and, and the language is <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. But I want to appreciate you, Clarissa, because you know what she, the, the issues that she's bringing yes. in, uh, Tariro, mm -hmm. about an individual having goals. Exactly. You know, I think it helps. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, good, yes, my parents, you have work to do. You need to, to coach Van Avenue and to do all these, the ABCs, the data. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, also, it right. rests with the child. Yes. yes. That's, that's to say, good, with responsibility. Exactly. That What's is very true. As then Yes, never rise away now. Exactly. But let's let's look at the issue of rise with our responsibility. When I was seeing my parents, I believe most of them not come across. Them not them not sang another when you travel all over the country. You have also even gone outside the country, I believe, for your programs. I was seeing my parents, or I was seeing that you know that cover, whether it's a guardian or or whatever. How how do they? you know, get to, to, to make my choices and not build a life yeah. mm -hmm. in the face of the mad drugs, the teenage sex, pregnancy and everything. You know, it's, it's, it's quite challenging. That family I was talking about, those yeah. kids lost their parents. And when that happens, because we don't have that extended family anymore, where we are saying, if my sister passes on, Vanava can become Devango. my kids. Mm -hmm. You know, we then tend to leave them. Even mm -hmm. as a community, we then tend to leave them. Mm -hmm. And who do they then go to for, for even comfort, even for that motherly love? Where they then go to? That's where they fall into these traps. You know, so you find good when we are looking at um, um, orphans and vulnerable children. And already 
once somebody becomes an orphan they are already vulnerable they are, they are, society yeah, dictates yeah, that yeah. UN dictates that mm-hmm. because our vases in that shield mm-hmm. as kids mm-hmm. so as a result you find that group everybody prize on them you know they they are at a disadvantage when mm-hmm. you are comparing them to even mana who's coming from a household who's got that social fabric from okay. within their, their their own family home yeah, yeah yeah okay uh we have tembi tembi thank you so much for your contributions my brother you are doing so well uh, it's a lady actually yes. tembi sorry tembi says justin communication never na vedu tisa miri reva kura and yes. tichita kunge trikungo vaudza zvekuita yes. i think ndipo pamwe pari kubva matambudzi kwati mm. kusangana nao clarissa i'm proud of you girl so she's wow. also appreciating mm. your testimony and your, your, your yeah so isu iri pakuti vananga vadzidze vachiri vadiki yes, even to have the vision mm. for life mananga yes. azive kuti party andiri kutora ndi chasvika apa yes. and how do i get there yes. these people havandi batsire kuti ndi shike mm. pa vision mm. yangu so she needs to be pruning herself of yes. unnecessary elements achikura chitoziva kuti mm. uya anondi divert Exactly. We are going to be bad out. Even when I'm spoiling man and mm-hmm. to do come about this, do come about this. What exactly am I trying to do mm-hmm. as a parent? Mm-hmm. If I'm going to be giving you money, it shouldn't be every time. Mama, I want this. F- and I'm there. giving you. What have you done? Okay. Attach value to something. Okay, mm-hmm. clean your plate when you are done with cleaning your plate. You yes. get this. Mm-hmm. Do mm-hmm. The, you know? And with kids, you find if you start like what Tembi is saying, if you mm-hmm. start from an early age, mm-hmm. you know. They will grow into it. Right, but the if you so, also, yeah. as parents, sometimes we are, we tend to then relax too much and say, ah, okay. And now because Tina and Asisi, they do wow. everything. It's also wow. when we grew up, and Asisi were there. Mm-hmm. But you would know that you do this and this. You mm-hmm. had your own mm-hmm. household mm-hmm. chose that exactly. were allocated to you, exactly. whether Bana Sisi or Abana. Why can't we do that with our kids? Now, uh, thank you so much. Rachel Tina Goba says... Uh, Parent child communication is important where we give comprehensive information mm. regarding any issues related to sexuality. Mm. Our youth face peer pressure from their peers and always have a way of doing what is on their mind. Mm. It's better to then equip them with all information that can help them make informed decisions relating to their health. Yes. The first responsibility lies with the caregiver or parents. Mm. The parties are happening but let's also ensure our young people make informed decisions in relation to what is important mm. for them. Yes, well mm-hmm. said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well said. Okay. Not you know, if I keep doing this, if I keep failing, if my grades, because some of them their grades go down. I have a cousin who said his grades he never passed all level because he's too high. <laughs> he's too high to even read. And it, so because Mananika addicted. Okay, I, I wanted to ask something. Whenever we talk to our we are talking about adolescents. Mm-hmm. Mama, age is a very mirror say really. We are going to affect one of these things. Huh. Yeah, <laughs> great. You know, terrible. like the ones I was talking about. You know, from nine years. Mm-hmm. It has become something. Nine now. years. Yes. Manaku zivama drugs. Yes. Early sexual debut is starting equal. Nine equal, years. Equal. Yes. I'm I'm so worried. It, it it's really worrying. That yeah. peer pressure that we are hearing from Tendi mm-hmm. and Rachel, mm-hmm. it's a mm-hmm. reality. Mm-hmm. You know? That's where they're getting all the information. That's where the influence is coming. And this needs to then experiment. Then you add social social media yes. onto it. Manari pa Snapchat. Manari pa WhatsApp. Manari pa Facebook. Facebook. You know, Manari pa Instagram. Exactly. The things that they get to see. And could have fun and name music videos. Do you want to go on my party? Chris Brown and Chris Brown. Yes, Mama, 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 Wow. thank you for joining. She is saying my beautiful sis, my creed, Tari Romakanga, proud of you. <laughs> okay, that's Sharon. She is also watching. Okay. We, we are talking nyaya drug abuse. Zirukuitu anema youth. Vamwevenyu mutori nevana. If you have a testimony that you also want to share with us, tell us, kuti, how are you managing my issues, Zagadai? The thing now I want to ask is, do we have hope? Yeah, they, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. And I don't believe in giving up. 
Mm -hmm. um, some of the solutions that we've been given there, mm -hmm. you know, issues of communication, because I, I, I also tend to think us as, 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 as parents, we were also slackening. And I'm also happy to say when you are looking at uh, the education sector, mm -hmm. not just in Zimbabwe, but in Southern Africa, mm -hmm. you know, all heads of state in the Sadak region, they were sent in uh, Eastern South, in Southern Africa to the introduction of comprehensive sexuality education within mm. primary and secondary okay. uh, okay. Uh, secondary level. levels. And mm. once it starts from school, you know, Ngana, they will get that appreciation of saying, if I do this, it will put me at risk like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. So that silence that has been there when we are looking at these issues, it's being broken. So okay. you find that if there is that effort, and we have um, a, a lot of organizations who are also making an effort, Sabe is being one of them, mm -hmm. working with traditional and religious leaders as well, mm -hmm. to ensure sure that you know these issues all those issues that used to be taboo for us to talk about at to least discuss about yeah never yeah, now yeah we start opening dialogue mm -hmm. and i'm sure with all those efforts that we are doing all right we are seeing the the results where the the initial steps have started to take place mm -hmm. so i'm saying when I'm, I'm looking at the interventions that have been put in place now mm -hmm. if we expand mm -hmm. But th this, like these are the these are maybe at the at a bigger scale at mm -hmm. policy level, national level. Community as well. What is happening at the communities? Yeah, like the traditional leaders that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Already at the communities, if we are talking about comprehensive sexuality education being introduced as part of the curriculum, okay. Okay. it's already happening within the yeah, school system. Yeah, yeah. So already we are saying manawangu is manawe say an exposure to that. Mm -hmm. that exposure. Mm -hmm. You look at the role that traditional leaders are playing at community mm -hmm. level. They are opening the discussions in my parents mm -hmm. and telling my parents good when you are at home, start talking. And you know, with traditional leaders, my chief Edu, like Emunom Zimbabwe, I'm mm -hmm. quite proud of them mm -hmm. because the parents they want feedback. Mm -hmm. And Marku wanna that feedback. Thank you, Chief Charumbira. <laughs> By the way, in Chagu Chaga <laughs> program, we need to talk Nesha Murukuita because mm -hmm. we really want you good as custodians here unu where do in our communities to it us say good yeah. mm -hmm. so want to appreciate my efforts are mention why here mm -hmm. by sister Tarina. yes yeah. and you have even the religious sector mm -hmm. but those religious leaders now mm -hmm. they are playing a role in saying we are committed to mm -hmm. ensure mm -hmm. we are committed to respect even my rights mm -hmm. a choice even in terms of a partner that they need to take mm -hmm. so we have made great great strides on wow. both the religious and mm -hmm. traditional aspect of mm -hmm. my leaders Ed. Mm -hmm. so That's... there is hope just okay. when I'm thank you so it. much I yeah. can smile <laughs> thank you yes uh, Clarissa yeah just to add on I mm. think the hope is in that we need to make young people realize that no one owes them anything they owe mm. it to themselves yeah. to have a clean, mm. clean life oh, yeah, <laughs> to yeah, get yeah, to the yeah. end mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so there's hope because we have surface it has mm -hmm. its trainings it has mm -hmm. its mentorship programs mm -hmm. and we have other ngos mm -hmm. who have uh, there's a what they call the dreams project mm -hmm. which is trying to make young people resilient mm -hmm. right so that they reach the end mm -hmm. so no hope, not all hope is it's lost, lost. Mm -hmm. and we have some churches who now openly speak about you know sexuality and sex and, and, and srhr issues mm -hmm. but uh, I think the hope lies in us mm -hmm. as young people because mm -hmm. you, you the carry the you light. Give up, true. Yes, the yeah. minute you give up on your life, that's the minute that yeah. this this thing won't end. Mm -hmm. But if young people keep, they have to be persistent. I yeah. know things are hard. Mm -hmm. Times are hard. Sometimes mm -hmm. people want to be high because you know, mm -hmm. but still, when you get back hey, to being sober, the, the challenges are still no, there. There's, yeah. there's need yeah. to. You know, even if you're on the high on Friday, on Monday, reality mm, is going to come back. Mm -hmm, yeah, so mm -hmm. it's that ability to deal with stress, which is mm -hmm. something that we're undermining. You know, a lot of young people are going into early depression, mm -hmm. something that we don't yeah. look at. So some are depressed and they drink alcohol to get, you know, that bubbliness back again. So my issues are, I can't wonder, mm -hmm. and they're interlinked. So mm -hmm. it's just to ignore unemployment. Ignore, young people are not being taught mm -hmm. that's very true that's very true i want to appreciate you ladies for coming just your, your last words it doesn't matter that i wanted to find out what help have you been able to to, to give them um now it's actually exciting that uh, the first episode was uh aired um, on the tv on saturday mm -hmm. but before we even aired it we put it on facebook <coughs> yeah. and already we had one organization that is actually visiting the kids now mm -hmm. they're going to try and assist them mm -hmm. but the major challenge that we have like i said they're always high mm -hmm. so far they've gone twice mm -hmm. 
uh, I've certainly that confidence. Okay. But we are hoping that uh, they will get the help. Mm -hmm. We, we yeah. have, uh, just to add to what you are saying, I've got uh, some youth from my church. Uh, they've actually been there to evangelize to some young men, mm -hmm. not exactly the yeah. ones yet, but there's mm -hmm. also a group uh, that was into drug dealing mm -hmm. and, you know, all those things, you know. And uh, I, I want to acknowledge the efforts they've also made and to say there's a lot of change taking place there. there. Is, so yeah, exactly hope yeah. is still there. Okay, mm -hmm. you can just... Yeah, yeah so my, my, my last word would be i think to adolescents um the rights that you have they come with that responsibility like what clarissa is saying you know your life is in your hands mm -hmm. you are the leader of today you are the leader of tomorrow what are you doing about it for you to be known as the the zuckerberg of zimbabwe you know you need to be working hard mm -hmm. and i always say and tell anyone about you cannot say to them and emphasize and re-emphasize the need for reading reading and reading we don't want things to be hidden from us in books and yeah, we don't yeah, get to yeah, see them yeah, so yeah. once you're widely <clears throat> read you know you're empowered you'll be able to to to, to overcome anything mm -hmm. and any challenge mm -hmm. open communication with your parents mm -hmm. don't fear your parents mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you, Andy Tariro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Clarissa, what do you want to say? Kuneva mova skana vagaita sewe. Well, nungoji iwe urumchengeti wako niwa mwa skana. Ndiye utuma mwana unoso chema na ni kana shaso itika. Uno kuna umuma. You saw about hospital, but uh, you know, it might be too late. So, yeah, yeah, mchengeti yeah. wako, hang around the right people and take care of yourself, young people. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been a pleasure, ladies, to have you here Thank on you live. Thank you for having us. You are watching live with Justin. We'll be live again next week on the same program on Zim DITV. Keep watching the clip here, Taisa, that was running live and share to as many of your favorite groups as you would want. And also invite others to watch and join you next time. So many other programs coming up here on Zim DITV tomorrow and any other day. So please do make sure that you are always tuned in and you are watching. Remember to take my bundle, which one my programs. And we want to appreciate you. Until next time. Time. God bless you. Next <laughs> 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 <laughs>